Hello guys, I'm back with my channel History with Ishan and thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are taking care of yourself and others during this pandemic. So now after sparkling video going in diamonds, now I'm back letting you know about the history behind Indian currency, the history of Indian currency. So now let me begin. The history of currency in India dates back to the ancient times in the 6th or 7th century BC. Coins were documented during this period in the Mahajanapada kingdoms. These coins came in irregular shapes and standard way of the Maurya rule. Then came the Mauryans with punched mark coins that were usually stamped bars of copper, silver and gold. The Indo Greeks introduced the custom of printing portraits of mythological deities on the coins. The most number of gold coins were produced in the Gupta period which is between 320 to 470 CE. That is the reason why this period is known as the Golden Period. Further, the evolution of coins happened through the subsequent Indian dynasties like from the Mughal and Rajput empires in the north to the kingdoms of Vijayanagara and Maratha in the south. By the 12th century AD, the Turkish sultans of Delhi replaced the royal Indian designs with Islamic calligraphy. The currency, known as Tanka, was made of copper and silver and coins of low value were known as Jittars or Jittams. From 1526 AD, the Mughal Empire consolidated the monetary system for the entire empire. Evolution of Indian currency happened soon after Sher Shah Suri conquered Humayun and issued a 178 gram of silver coin known as Rupiya. Now, the history behind Indian currency during the British era. With the introduction of the Coinage Act of 1835, uniform coinage came into existence all over the country. The Mughal Empire ended subsequently in 1858 and the British gained control over the princely states. Portraits of the monarch of Great Britain replaced the images on the medieval coins. King George VI replaced the local designs on coins and banknotes and introduced rupee as the official currency of colonial India after the 1857 revolts. During World War I, one rupee coins made of silver were in use. But due to the crisis following the war, one rupee coins could not be generated. And therefore, for the very first time, one rupee notes were introduced. And finally, after the establishment of the Reserve Bank of India in 1935, the government of India was empowered with the issuance of Indian currency notes. The very first paper currency that the RBI issued in 1938 was a 5 rupee note which had a portrait of King George VI. Later, rupees 10,000, rupees 2, and rupees 1 were added to the existing denomination. And now, the history of Indian currency in the post independence era. After independence in 1947, when Indian people were free and when India became a republic finally in 1950, the modern rupee returned to the signature design of rupee coin. The lion capital at Sarnath was the chosen symbol for the paper currency. This symbol replaced the banknotes with images of King George VI. Therefore, the first banknote that was printed in India post-independence was a one rupee note. The Reserve Bank of India printed currency notes with the image of Mahatma Gandhi in 1996. These notes are still in circulation and come with enhanced security measures as well as tangible aids for visually impaired people. So that's about another riveting story of Indian history, which is about the Indian currency, how it grew from coins, punch mark coins, to the notes of rupees we are using now. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you've liked my video and please press on the like button, share it with your family and friends, comment down below your views about my video as well as the topics you want me to cover about Indian history in my next video and also subscribe to my channel History with Ishan for more such interesting updates from Indian and world history. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Take care and stay safe. Kindly follow all the safety protocols to help prevent COVID-19 since the situation uh, around the world and in India especially are really uh, challenging. So. Stay safe.
take care enjoy your time with your family at home and stay indoors mostly thank you so much goodbye stay safe and jai hind